finally, Microsoft is finally making the developer facing tool product lineup less confusing. Today they announced that they're axing Microsoft Visual Studio. No, no, not that Visual Studio, not the main one, Visual Studio for Mac. Did, did you ever use that? I tried it once and that was enough. And this happens just about a year after Microsoft made Visual Studio 2022 work on ARM processes really quite well. And I use it on my Mac while running a Windows virtual machine. I made a video comparing performance last year. I'll link to it down below. Every time someone asks me why I use Visual Studio when there's Visual Studio code or VS code, I kind of feel like they're asking me why I drink coffee when there's water. Different vibes, people. Or here's another one. Why use Visual Studio 2022 running on a virtual Windows machine inside Parallels when you can use Visual Studio for Mac? Well, I think now you have your answer. Visual Studio for Mac has basically been Xamarin Studio. It's rebranded by Microsoft when they purchased Xamarin to be called Visual Studio. Never given enough funding to properly turn it into a feature parity product with actual Visual Studio, probably my guess. And ever since then, it's been confusing tons of developers in the process. Anyway, consider it gone in August 2024. I'm happy not to be talking about it anymore. So please don't ask me. In the meantime, Microsoft also drops Visual Studio Code. It's been around for a number of years now. You might be familiar with it. This is a product that was designed as a lightweight text editor first. It was meant to replace things like Notepad++, Sublime, Atom, you get the idea. And it was meant to be cross-platform. And it does an amazing job at that. It works flawlessly on Windows, Mac, and Linux, all of which I use almost daily. Yes, I'm one of those weirdos that uses a Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'm like the Switzerland of operating system users, okay? Now, VS Code isn't just a pretty face. It has extensions. It's kind of like having a Swiss army knife, but you get to choose which tools you want in there. Debugger, check. Language services, check. But let's spill the tea, shall we? Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio 2022, only somewhat related by name and only because Microsoft deemed it so. It's kind of like calling every soda a Coke. <laughs> hey man, can I get a Coke? Uh, sure, what kind? Pepsi. <sighs> To avoid confusion, people mostly call Visual Studio Code VS Code or VS Code or VS Code. And even Microsoft uses the at code Twitter handle instead of at Visual Studio Code. And even Twitter is not Twitter, it's X. <sighs> All this naming stuff is hard, isn't it? Developers know about that. Although Microsoft does still display the full name on their Twitter profile, Visual Studio Code. Come on, Microsoft. Now that we know that they're completely different products, is there any overlap between Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio 2022 as far as workflows? With VS Code, you can build code as text. If you really like pain, like Vim users, I'm gonna get a lot of heat for this one. Or you can put together a set of extensions that will help you with certain tasks, from code runners to code scaffolders to running AI tools inside of your text editor, like Copilot and Code Whisper, to name a few. Try running Code Whisper with Visual Studio 2022. Good luck with that one. All these can be extensions that you have to know about and install them separately for your project. Basically, you're on your own to cobble together the set of extensions that you need for your given project type to help you with being more productive. Stop writing text files. And Visual Studio Code is used by tons of different developers. JavaScript developers, TypeScript developers, Python developers, Java developers, Ruby developers, PHP developers. Yeah, PHP. Yeah, they do it. Go developers, Rust people, C Sharp developers. Oh, speaking of C Sharp developers, their main home has been Visual Studio proper for a long time. The Visual Studio, the one that runs on Windows. Now that one has its own set of versions. I won't go into the differences between the versions like professional, enterprise, and community. Community, that's the free one. So if Visual Studio code is so cool, why bother with Visual Studio 2022? When you install Visual Studio 2022, the entire tool chain is installed for you with a click. It configures everything you may need for a given project for you. It also has a bunch of extras that you can't get with VS Code. Ready? Here's Visual Studio 2022 in a nutshell. Help, I'm Visual Studio in a nutshell. Ugh. Austin Powers did that joke. It was way better. All right, ready? Here we go. 
It has an advanced debugger with time travel via IntelliTrace. It has performance tools for bottleneck fixes. It has built-in load testing and SQL tools. I like the load testing part. I use that all the time. It has comprehensive testing suite and static code analysis. It has superior integration with version control systems like Git and TFS and others. <gasps> it's got architecture and modeling tools ready to use built right in. It has enhanced refactoring tools over VS Code. It supports many languages and frameworks right out of the box. And it's got Xamarin tools for smooth mobile development built right in. And for mobile development, it's got emulators built right in and installed for you. Built right in. You seeing a pattern here? Built right in. Built right in. <laughs> if there was only a word for a tool that has everything you need built right in, you know what? I'll just call it integrated. Yeah, an integrated development environment. Yeah. I'll shorten it as IDE. That's a good name for it. Look, this is not an ad for Visual Studio. I use both Visual Studio 2022 and VS Code for different reasons. When I'm working on a .NET project, I prefer Visual Studio 2022. When I work on mobile apps, I use Xcode and VS Code. When I work on React or Angular web apps, I use VS Code. Visual Studio Code is like a tool store where you go and handpick the different individual tools as you need them. It's customizable, it's flexible, it grows with your projects. Visual Studio 2022 is like buying the ultimate tool set in a big old plastic suitcase from day one. Every tool neatly organized and ready for the project thrown right in. Let's have a moment of silence for Visual Studio for Mac, shall we? Okay, hopefully this answers some of those lingering questions that some of you may have. I will still see you in the comments asking me what the difference is between VS Code and Visual Studio and I'll point you to this video. Have a good one, folks.